shall we start from here? Yeah. Yes. Change the following sentences as shown in the model. Okay. So, uh -huh. ra. Okay. So, this is example. So, nuvu ra. This is miru randi. So, this is like uh, converting singular to plural or singular honorific. Okay. So, miru prayat chandi. Nuvu lekka petu. Can you make it in the... Miru lekka petandi. Yeah. Miru lekka petandi. Yes. Perfect. Nuvu chudu. Miru chudandi. Miru chudandi. Perfect. Nuvu agadilo kucho. Miru agadilo kuchandi. Yes. Nuvu ni peru chetu. Miru ni peru chapandi. Perfect. Okay. Uh, next exercise is answer the following questions as shown in the model. A pustakalu balla mida unnaya. Okay. So here they have given one example. A pustakalu anni balla mida levu. Kunni balla mida unnai. Kunni gadilu unnai. They made like very lengthy answer. Okay. Just remember this uh, pattern. Then you can apply in the same method. Okay. So, a kalalu petelo unai. So I'll keep this also in the same view so you can see and make the sentence. Can you try the first one? A kalalu petelo unaya. Kalalu ani petulo petelo leu. Yes. Koni pete mida. Yes. Unai or Kuni Petelo Unai. Uh, Kuni, yeah, we can say Petelo also. Yeah, it's fine. No problem. You can say Pete like. Pakana Unai. Yeah, any any location, any different location. Okay, try the next one. Yi Kuchilu Dadilo Unaya. So you need to use Goda word. Okay. So it Kurchilo anni gadilo leu. Okay. So, so here you need to. Anni a goda the ground nai. Kani a goda mida nai. Um, goda mida is not appropriate and because it is not kurchi. So we can say gadilo. Oh, not your problem. That's why. Yeah. Okay. So we can say gadilo, not your problem. Same sen same sentence we can use. Okay. Okay. The That's next good. one is okay. After showing, or I will just reduce the view so you can see everything. Okay. Now can you try? A kagitalu pustakam kinda unnaya. So you need to use pustakam mida. Okay. In the other words, yeah, in the second sentence. Okay. Kavitalu pustakam kinna ani leo. No need to say, or, okay. or we can say, Akagitalu ani. Okay, then continue. Akagitalu ani pustakam kinda leo. Leo, yes. Koni. Koni. Pustakam mida unai. Okay, perfect. Koni pustakam pakana unai. Yeah, pakana or even low also fine because low. like book inside the book we can keep. Pustakam low unai also fine. Both are correct. Okay, the next model is like this. Na pustakam yekkadundi. Uh, so answer can be balla mida undi chudu. Okay, so let's see the questions. Okay, Atani Kalam Yekadundi. Can you answer? Okay, so you want to see Atani the... Kalam Petelo Di yeah. Shudu. So if you look at this pattern, no need to say this, the person who belongs that one. Na or me, not necessary. Directly, you can start with that object. Okay. So, here we can say directly start with Kalam. Atani Kalam Yakadundi. Kalam. Kalam Petelo Undi. Perfect. Ah, uh, Churu. Yeah. Yeah. Then Churu, yes. Correct. 
దెన్ కుర్చీ ఎక్కడుంది గోడ దగ్గర ఉంది చూడు పర్ఫెక్ట్ మా పుస్తకాలు ఎక్కడున్నాయి బల్ల మీద ఉన్నాయి చూడు ఎస్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ పెట్టెలు ఎక్కడున్నాయి బల్ల కింద ఉన్నాయి చూడు పర్ఫెక్ట్ అండి let's go to the next uh, section that is vocabulary so here they have given the meanings already but we will have some kind of practice by making one or two sentences so you can build your vocabulary so the first one is mottam okay so mottam is here mottam means total okay so uh, let's see instead of um, uh, making our own sentences to get more ideas i'll just type this mottam word in google we'll get random sentences then i will ask you to translate okay now i'll go okay. to google so it's a you know we'll get real world examples sometimes we may not get ideas in our, our mind so it's easy to get from there so mottam okay okay ఇక్కడ చూడండి ఇక్కడ ఒక ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఉంది ఇది మీరు చదవండి తర్వాత యు ట్రై టు మేక్ ట్రాన్స్లేషన్ ఐ విల్ హెల్ప్ యూ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ నాట్ గెటింగ్ కెన్ యూ ట్రై దిస్ వన్ ఓకే సో దీప దీప ఫోకస్ మొత్తం మౌని మౌనిత మౌనిత మీద మౌనిత మీద పెట్టిన పెట్టినట్టు ఉంది యా పెట్టినట్టు ఉంది సో డిడ్ యు అండర్స్టాండ్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆర్ కెన్ ఐ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ సో మోనిత మీద సో ప్లీజ్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఓకే సో హియర్ మెయిన్లీ యు నీడ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ద వర్డ్ పెట్టినట్టు ఉంది పెట్టినట్టు ఉంది మీన్స్ ఓకే లెట్ మీ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ద ఇంగ్లీష్ సెంటెన్స్ దెన్ యూ విల్ ఈజీలీ అండర్స్టాండ్ దీప ఫోకస్ మొత్తం మోనిత మీద పెట్టినట్టు ఉంది వెన్ యూ సి సే మోనిత ఐ కుడ్ హియర్ లైక్ మౌ but it is not mau and maybe some uh, uh, mic problem no i said it wrong yeah you're it's mo, yeah i said it wrong monita mo. okay monita it is monita not mau okay so deepika uh, deepa focus motta monita meeda pettinattu that means deepa focused her tor her uh, complete uh, for uh, uh, deepa completely focused on monita then we need to add the meaning of pettinattundi it seems okay it seems deepa completely focused on monita this is the full sentence meaning so it seems means whatever it's happen it's like you know we are thinking Th- uh, we are thinking like it is happening that means it seems okay ayinatlundi pettinatlundi tinnatlundi like that it comes the meaning okay oh, that... so we need to start with it yeah. seems okay it seems deepa completely focused on monita it seems that okay so did you understand the concept and meaning yeah i did so that particular verb that construction is like really far ahead in the book <laughs> yeah it is not word we cannot say like you know word to word translation it is like you know sometimes we have to break the phrases and make the translation okay okay so let's have one more little uh, small sentence ayinatlundi mm. okay ayinatlundi can you try it seems that compl- that is completed అయినట్లుంది వెన్ వి సే అయినట్లుంది ఆర్ తిన్నట్లుంది ఆర్ వచ్చినట్లుంది సో బేసికల్లీ అట్లుంది ఆర్ యాక్చువల్లీ పెట్టినట్లుంది దిస్ ఈస్ అ కాంబినేషన్ ఆఫ్ పెట్టినట్లు ఆర్ పెట్టినట్టు ప్లస్ ఉంది సో యూ నీట్ టు కంబైన్ దీస్ ఫ్రేజెస్ లైక్ దిస్ సో యూ టేక్ ఎనీ వెర్బ్ ఓకే దెన్ తిను ఓకే లెట్స్ మేక్ the sentences phrases using the verb tinu okay tinu plus nat tinu plus atlundi tinu actually not like that tinu natlu tinnatlu 
తిన్నట్లు బికమ్స్ తిన్నట్లు ప్లస్ ఉంది తిన్నట్లు ఉంది ఆమె అన్నం తిన్నదా ఐ విల్ సే ఆమె అన్నం తిన్నదా డిడ్ హీ ఈట్ రైస్ దెన్ ఆన్సర్ విల్ బి తిన్నట్లు ఉంది దట్ మీన్స్ ఇట్ సీమ్స్ షీ హ్యాడ్ మీల్స్ లైక్ దట్ ఓకే ఓకే సో దట్స్ సో దట్ అట్లు ఫోన్ ఐ మీన్స్ గన్ టు చేంజ్ ఫర్ ద సబ్జెక్ట్ యా యా that's one okay so later what you can do i gave only one example you practice with some more words you okay. take any base form then add natlundi tinnatlundi vachinatlundi rasinatlundi like that so it's the same for yes yes ek jaise for all of them it seems he wrote that means atadu rasinatlunnadu it okay, seems it just change. it seems she wrote ame vrasinatlundi for example we are talking about some activity it seems she did ame chesinatlundi like that did means cheyu chesinatlundi for it seems she com- she did or she completed like that okay so just you, you add this phrase in your homework list so you can make maybe 5 to 10 sentences and uh, show me in the next session so we will have the correction then it will be easy for you to understand okay now let's go to the book so the next one is we have ev okay so again we'll do the same thing because you know if we think and say we always say very easy words because whatever is in our mind we just say ev okay if you ask me ev and me i say ev and me but if i go to google we may find something differently or new words words so it will help us to build new vocabulary so again i will type the word ev in google then let's see what lengthy sentence we'll get ev okay okay ev chuste okay you read you read okay ఇవి చూస్తే బాసురలో బాసర బాసరలో నీరు తాగరు నీరు తాగరు yes so ivi chuste basaralo nillu tagaru uh, can you try to translate if it is difficult difficult tell me okay. i will if uh, whoever us to see uh yes. water in the basura yes 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 they will not drink it yeah perfect yeah yes it's that's a translation and it's fine yeah uh yeah if if you see these things or these yeah these things okay uh, they will realize something about the water and they don't feel like drinking that's the full meaning okay. but what you said i said in different words both are same okay let's go to the next one okay next we have e this is uh, meaning this or these this is like you know uh, demonstrative pronoun okay okay let me type e here we'll get some random sentence okay read this one then try to translate ఈ వీడియో చూస్తే విశ్వనాథ్ గారి గొప్పతనం తెలుస్తుంది ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ హీ సీస్ దిస్ వీడియో విశ్వనాథ్ garu vishwanath gar so vishwanath garus yes perfect gopa gopatanam gopatanam i don't know what that means greatness ah, okay so okay it's ta- it's addressing us then so if if whoever was to see this video um yeah, yeah then they will they will get to know yes vishwanath garu's greatness exactly perfect and perfect 
Okay, let's go to the next sentence. Uh, next, we have low. Low means basically yin. Okay, let's get some random sentence from Google, then we'll read. Low. Okay. Okay, there is very simple sentence and only three words you can read. Okay. Yeah. By juice law. Okay. Uh, Udyogalu. Udyogula. Udyogala. Uh, Tola Genpu. That's all. Uh, that is the another phrase. No need for us. So this is the heading, newspaper heading. So it's not like normal sentence, newspaper heading. So usually newspaper headings, we use simple present tense. So can you try? Okay. So in that, um, so by juice law in by juice. Okay. Yes. Uh, jobs. Tologimpu, I don't know what that means. Uh, Tologimpu means like, you know, termination or dismiss. Oh, so it's like a layout. Yeah, layout. they fired. Actually, I'll tell you the scenario. But since this is heading, we need to make like a newspaper heading in simple present tense. But I will tell you in general conversation way, uh, they removed, they fired employees in Baizus. This is the meaning. Okay. But since this is the title, you know, in the newspaper, how they wrote, termination of employees in Baijus, like that, some kind of uh, heading, heading style we have to follow. So, Tolagimpu, this is like, you know, in the newspaper heading, we use these type of things. Okay, let's go to the next one. Next, we have Rendu. Okay, Rendu. Okay, Rendu means two. But as usual, we'll get some random sentence from Google, then we'll translate. Rindu. Okay, you can read from here. Uh, okay, let me, something happen. Okay, you see, after two dots, there is a word, okay. e rendu. You read from here and from up to here. Okay, so e rendu. Nioja, niojaka. Varga law, Varga law, uh, Pariataka, Pariatana. Pariatana. Okay. So, Pariyatana. one minute, I'll tell you. Okay. Meanwhile, you try if you know. We, we, these are like not commonly used words, but uh, let's type here. We'll get the translation. But if you know, tell me. You Do you know the meaning? Pariyatana. Let me show you. No. Yeah. Even for me, it is a little difficult because, okay, so I can say like, you know, Neo Jakavargalu means constitutions. Constitutions, okay? Oh, Pariyatana means like tour. Irandu means these two. Okay? So, we need to make like a frame, like a, we need to frame a sentence. So, let's try here. We'll get the proper sentence. E rendu. I'm finding difficult. So in these two constituency. Constituency. Yeah. Okay. This is a little new to me. Okay. So this is the meaning. Okay. Next one. Oka. Okay. Oka means actually here they mentioned one as an adjective. Or other words we can say a. Uh, okay. A pen. Oka pen like that. Okay. Let's make random sentence from Google. Okay, there is one sentence here. Uh, you see, from this Atanu to Diggajam, you can read. Okay, so Atanu Sini Prapanchalo Prapanchamlo Oka Diggajam. Diggajam. Uh, 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 no, no, no. no. Oh, not not that very one, short. Not. Okay, up to the gajam is fine. So, Atanu, like, you know, okay, can you try or 
if you don't know any word, I can give you the translation, then you can make the sentence. I only know prapancham law. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So atanu means he. Mm. Sini prapancham means film world. Film world. Oh, cine. Film. Sini means film. Cinema means film. Prapancham means world. Sini world means film world. Okay. Then oka diggajam means a. Uh, diggajam means like great personality. Okay. But we will also see some synonyms from Google. So. Let me type the full sentence here. Then we'll get the proper meaning. Atanu sini prapanchamlo oka diggajam. He is a giant in the film world. So giant. Okay, let me get this one like a giant. Okay, let me check here. Because, you know, sometimes we need to cross-check with the word like Jain, these things. So, I will type here Jain again. Okay. Jain, an imaginary or mythical being of human form, but superhuman size. Yes, it's correct. Asadharana means shiktikala vyakti. Yes. So, this is the meaning. Diggaja means Jain. Okay. Giant. Giant. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Oka finish. Modu. Modu means, you know, that is three. Okay. Uh, let's get the random sentence. Modu. Okay. See, you can read from here. From here to here. Kani, up to Kani. Okay, up to Kani. So, Katiki Muru Pellilu Pellilu Chesukuna Chesukunadu Kani. Okay. Okay, let me try the translation. Okay. One, two, three, but I know. So I think it's like he did from like one to three marriages, but yeah. he was doing, he's doing from one to three marriages, but something yeah, like that. Something like that. Yeah. Actually, see here, Vokatiki mood pellilu chase kunadu. That means he's supposed to get married once, only once. But he got married three times. Or, yeah, three times he got married. But he, in the, if you see the first sentence, he, you will find the scenario. Amayakanga kanipisunadu. Kada ani teligati sparekandi. That means, Amayakanga kanipisunadu means he looks innocent. But don't take, don't think like that. So don't think like that. Okay. He is not an innocent person like that. Then Vokatiki Mood Pelilu Cheskunar. That means he is supposed to take got one marriage, but he got married three times like that. Kani means, but so and so. There is a continuous story. So it will be in the full story. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Ekkada. Ekada means, you know, where. Okay. So, let's get the sentence. Okay. Let me find the sentence. Then I will ask you to read. Okay. This is a song title. You can read. The selected text. Okay. Yes. Taraka. Taraka. Yes. Taraka. Taraka. Actually, Taraka is like, you know, like star. Okay. Um, Taraka, for the song purpose, they, they use the long vowel sound. Yekkada, yekkada, yekkada undo Taraka. Like that. I think you heard this song. Yeah. So, Taraka, it is like... Uh, Star, 
Tara means star. Okay, so where oh. where where might you be, O oh star? Pretty yeah, much. like that. Okay, Tara. Tara means star, but Taraka they added to make like you know some kind of meaningful sentence. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Unai Unai means actually see they wrote something differently. They but Unai one. means like you know they are okay. They are Abhi Unai. They are. Actually, basically, R means unnai, they are. But unnai used for the neuter gender, things. Okay. So, if I say they are, it can be, uh, it can have three, two meanings. One is, varu unnaru, if we are talking about people. Otherwise, avi unnai, if we are talking about things. Okay, so you need to remember things for, for this, things plural. So I will type here, unnai, then we'll get some random sentence, then we'll practice, unnai, okay. So, okay, you can read this one, then we'll translate. Maku songs unnai. Guru. Yeah, maku songs unnai, guru. So, can you try? Okay, so we have songs, Guru. <laughs> okay, here you need to understand something. Maku means like we have Maku Nai. This is perfect translation. But if you look at here, there is a long vowel sound to the letter Ku. Maku Nai. Okay, Maku Nai. It is not Maku Nai. Maku Nai means we have. Maku Nai means we too have. Okay. We too. T -o -o -o. So we also we are also having something like we too have songs masteru like that. So guru means like master. Okay. That's something. I think you understand the concept. Maku means we too have. Similarly, Niku unda, you too have like that. Similarly, if I say ku sound for the uh, for this type of things like to you, uh, to them, okay. After that, if I add to, it will be like long vowel sound. Wariki, maku, uh, naku, niku, like that. So that means that long vowel sound after ku indicates to translation, T-O-O. -O. Okay, next one, we have Anni. Okay, Anni means all of them. Let's get the real sentence. Anni, okay. So, Anni. Okay, you can read these two, three words, then we'll translate. I think Yesuku uh, Anni. Okay, uh, actually, that Anni it is like a repeated word, so we can skip that one. So we can translate only the first three words Anni Sadhyami Yesuku. Okay, can you translate? Anni Sadhyami Yesuku. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, not let, me, let, me yeah. let me explain. Um, Yesuku means like for Yesu, uh, like God, okay? Yesu. Yesu Prabhu, I think you know. Jesus. Oh, it's uh, Yesu, we call Yesu uh, Jesus. Jesus, we call Yesu in Telugu, okay? So, to the Jesus, everything is possible. Anni. Anni means everything. Okay. Sadhyame. Sadhyame means possible. Okay. See, possible means sadhyamu. But just to emphasize that possible possibility, we can say sadhyame. Sadhyame. Anni sadhyame. Like that. Everything is possible for Jesus. That's the meaning. Okay. 
let's go to the next one uh, next word is levu levu means not there actually here they have give levu nai levu negative of unnai yeah yeah opposite to unnai okay but in english what we can say uh, they are not avi levu okay when we are talking about things okay if i say they are not when we are talking about people varu leru okay levu used for the things okay let's get random sentence levu okay uh, read this sentence first sentence then we will try to translate director okay. vishwanath okay gurinchi cheppadaniki matalu levu yeah okay can you try okay so for the sake of saying something about um uh, vishwanath the director okay. vishwanath uh, okay. words are not there yes perfect okay so in other words we can also say there are no words to say about director vishwanath you also said the same thing but i use a different words same meaning yeah you understand the meaning okay next one konni konni means some or some of them or a few okay let's get the random sentence konni okay okay you can read this one again the, for the same person but you can read this one maranani ki konni kshanalu kshanala mundu mundu paatu rastu paata paata rastu yeah okay can you try okay so i think uh, this is saying konni so a few seconds before his death yes he was writing a song yes uh, actually uh, if you look at the sentence partner pattern marananiki konni kshanala mundu paata rastu while writing paata rastu paata rastu means while writing while writing a song oh, okay. a few seconds before his death okay so basically here you need to understand the concept while plus verb in verb in ing form while eating tin to while writing bras to while coming was to like that you can practice while plus verb in ing form then put it this structure ras to well to tin to mm, whatever is that, that style will come but you practice it will be uh, understandable for you but uh, if you make some sentences you can or phrases only you can show me in the next session then we'll discuss further okay the next one is kinda kinda means under or below or beneath also okay so in english there are three meanings but basically kinda means if something is above uh, below something we just use kinda so uh, it, it's not uh, difficult like english in english there are three words okay let's try kinda then we'll get the meaning okay okay you can read this one okay pirata kinda like pappu tiyari tayari yes tayari okay so can you try pirata kinda so beneath pire pirata so actually pirata means like you know i will mean, like cow dangle or what what's that i i'll i'll say pedata pedata no oh, under pressure okay oh i see pedata 
Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, hey, I will give you a proper meaning because you know. Uh, okay. See, pedata. Pedata means a very small earthen. Mikkili chinna kunda. Okay, a small pot. Okay, a small pot. Okay, so under a small pot, a very small earthen pot. Okay, under a small pot. Make uh, papu tayari. Papu means you know dal, dal. You know dal, the food yes. Yes. Um Tayari tayari means like making. Okay, preparation. Actually. Making preparation. Yeah, but not preparation. Making only. Okay. okay, so making dal under a small pot. That's the meaning. Okay, so now we have only one minute. Uh, Time. So we'll continue in the next session. Okay. Okay. We'll the session now. See you next Let's, time. Uh, we start discussion. I think it will be half. So we'll end the session here. Thank you for joining. We'll meet in the next session. Yeah. Yeah. Bye.